Hi guys, now you are going to learn about the test and transformer that is open circuit test and transformer. Okay, see open circuit test is used to measure the shunt branch parameters of equivalent circuit. What is the use of open circuit test? It is used to measure the shunt branch parameters of equivalent circuit. What are the shunt branch parameters? R0 and X0 are the shunt branch parameters. Okay, so one more use is used to measure the constant losses. What do you mean by constant losses? Constant losses are nothing but they are iron losses. So why they are called constant losses? Because they will not vary with respect to load. Okay, so they will not vary with load. That is the reason why they are called constant losses. Okay, and this test is conducted under rated flux condition. Rated flux condition means, see, under rated, rated maximum flux density okay see rated flux density how we will op, uh, conduct this test under rated flux condition means see we will apply the rated voltage at a rated frequency rated voltage at rated frequency then we can make the transformer to operate under rated flux condition rated flux condition and uh, this test is generally conducted on LV side of the transformer. LV side of the transformer. Why? Because on LV side, LV side in the sense, simply it is low voltage side. Okay. So, in the low voltage side, the voltage is less. Okay. Voltage is less. So, we can easily provide... We can easily provide low voltage when compared to high voltage, okay? With the help of the sources, what we have, we can easily provide low voltage, okay? So, and one more thing is, in LV side, in LV side, the no load current is more. No load current is more. See, generally, what is the no load current? No load current is... 5 to 8 percent of full load current. Am I correct or not? Already we have seen in the uh, previous videos whenever the transformer is operating under no load condition, that is I naught, no load current is 5 to 8 percent of full load current. See, here uh, generally on LV side, the rating of the current is high. Let us say it is about 100 amperes. Okay, on, on HV side, it will be around 10 amperes. Okay, 5 to 8 percent of 100 in the sense, 5 amperes to 8 amperes. Okay, so HV side, 5 to 8 amperes in the sense, it is 0.5 amperes. Even though on the high voltage side, the current is less, but we cannot measure this 0.5 amps accurately. We cannot measure accurately. Measure accurately. Even though we have the capability to provide high voltage, but we cannot measure this 0.5 amps accurately. But we can measure 5 to 8 amps current very easily even in the laboratories. In laboratories we have 0 to 5 amps ammeter and 0 to 10 amps ammeter. Okay. So, with these ammeters, we can measure the currents accurately. Okay. So, no load current is more on LV side and current can be measured accurately on LV side when compared to HV side. Okay. So, no load current is more on LV side. And current can be measured accurately on LV side when compared with HV side. 
okay now i will draw the circuit arrangement to conduct this open circuit test okay so for this open circuit test initially uh, uh, we need to have an auto transformer an auto transformer okay auto transformer is a a uh, different topic i will explain it on a uh, single video okay so by using auto transformer we can set the required voltage by varying the regulator okay uh, it is a single phase supply this one is let us say phase and neutral okay ac supplies are having phase and neutral okay they don't have uh, that uh, positive and negative terminals whenever we are dealing with ac we have to say that is phase and neutral okay so this is the mobile terminal of the auto transformer it is a, looks like a regulator okay so across the terminals of the auto transformer we are conduct we are connecting a voltmeter to measure the voltage okay it is around 220 volts ac supply single phase in the sense 220 to 240 it will vary from and and ammeter generally this ammeter is used to measure no load current why because it is open circuit test no that is the reason why this is used to measure no load current and this voltmeter is used to measure the uh, voltage in the primary winding okay and we are uh, going to use an wattmeter this is the current coil and this is the voltage coil always current coil is connected in series and voltage coil is connected in parallel here the terminals are m this is l c and v okay now will this entire setup is connected to lv side of the transformer okay the true two windings of the transformer are magnetically coupled but they are electrically isolated see this is the hv side of the this is lv side of the transformer and this one is the hv side of the transformer this is open circuited okay hv side is open see by varying the uh, this single phase variac auto transformer okay we will tune the required voltage that is rated voltage of transformer okay and here uh, this is uh, this is an lpf watt meter lpf watt meter okay so we will take the readings of this voltmeter ammeter and watt meter after applying the rated voltage okay so this test is conducted to find the shunt branch parameters what are the shunt branch parameters let us consider i not is the no load current say then r not and x not are the shunt branch parameters this one is r not and this one is x not see the current flowing through r not will be i w and x not will be i mu okay so to find out these uh, two parameters these two parameters we are conducting this test and also to find iron losses of the transformer we are going to perform this test okay so when once the rated voltage is applied to the transformer okay so what we will do is uh, see here open circuit test no so what we will do is we will get the v1 voltage that is voltmeter reading 
ammeter reading what is ammeter reading is a no load current i not watt meter reading that is let us say w not okay so uh, i said by using open circuit test we can find the shunt branch parameters what is the shunt branch parameters r not is the resistance so r not is equal to we can say v1 by iw v1 by iw how can you say r not is equal to v1 by iw see this is r not and the current flowing through r not is iw and the current flowing through x not is i mu the current flowing over here is i not voltage across this shunt branch parameters what is that one that is v1 okay by using simple circuit analysis we can say r not is equal to v1 by iw similarly what is x not x not is equal to v1 by i mu okay v1 by i mu so how can we get this iw and i mu see here iw is equal to iw is equal to i not into cos of i not iw is equal to i not into cos phi not and we can get i mu is equal to i not into sin phi not i mu is equal to i not into cos phi not and i mu is equal to i not into sin phi not where phi not is the phase angle phi not is the phase angle so by substituting this i w and i mu in the above equations we will get r not and x not okay so what is w not power is equal to v i cos phi am i correct or not the formula for power is v i cos phi here phi not is the phase angle i not is the current v1 is the voltage so w not is the open circuit power so from that how can we get cos phi not cos phi not is equal to w not by v1 into i not okay here we'll get this cos phi not by w not by v1 into i not okay so and how will we get the sin phi not we have sin theta is equal to root over 1 minus cos square theta from that sin phi not is equal to root over 1 minus cos square phi not okay from that we will get sin phi not okay by substituting sin phi not over here we will get the value of i mu here what is w not w not is the watt meter reading they are simply no load losses we can say no load losses see here what we will do is we will take the watt meter reading as iron losses okay so this is the way very easily we can measure the iron losses in the transformer okay so this is about open circuit test on transformer thank you